And the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the children of Israel, and say to them, The feasts of the Lord, which you shall proclaim, holy convocations, these my feasts. Six days you shall work be done. Six days shall work be done, but the seventh day is a Sabbath of solemn rest, a holy convocation. You shall do no work on it. It is a Sabbath of the Lord in all your dwellings. These are the feasts of the Lord, holy convocations, which you shall proclaim at their appointed times. On the fourteenth of the first month at twilight is the Lord's Passover. And on the fifteenth of the same month is the Feast of Unleavened Bread to the Lord. Seven days you must eat unleavened bread. On the first day you shall have a holy convocation. You shall do no customary work on it, but you shall offer an offering made by fire to the Lord for seven days. The seventh day shall be a holy convocation. You shall do no customary work on it. And the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the children of Israel, and say to them, When you come into the land which I give you, and reap its harvest, then you shall bring a sheaf of the first fruits of your harvest to the priest. He shall wave the sheaf before the Lord to be accepted on your behalf. On the day after the Sabbath, the priest shall wave it, and you shall offer it on that day when you wave the sheaf, a male lamb of the first year, without blemish, as a burnt offering to the Lord. Its grain offering shall be two-tenths of an ephah of fine flour mixed with oil, an offering made by fire to the Lord for a sweet aroma. And its drink offering shall be of wine, one-fourth of a hen. You shall eat neither bread nor parched grain nor fresh grain until the same day that you have brought an offering to your Lord. It shall be a statute forever throughout your generations and all your dwellings. And you shall count for yourself from the day after the Sabbath, from the day that you brought the sheaf of the wave offering, seven Sabbaths to be completed. Count fifty days to the day after the seventh Sabbath. Then you shall offer a new grain offering to the Lord. You shall bring from your dwelling two wave loaves of two tenths of an ephod, and it shall be of fine flour. They shall be baked with leaven, the first fruits to the Lord, and you shall offer with the bread seven lambs of the first year without blemish, one young bull and two rams. They shall be as a burnt offering to the Lord with their grain offering and their drink offerings, an offering made by fire for a sweet aroma to the Lord. Then you shall sacrifice one kid of the goats as a sin offering and two male lambs of the first year as a sacrifice of a peace offering. The priest shall wave them with the bread of the first fruits as a wave offering before the Lord with the two lambs. They shall be holy to the Lord for the priest. And you shall proclaim on the same day, it is a holy convocation to you. You shall do no customary work on it, a statute forever in the dwellings throughout your generations. When you reap the harvest from your land, you shall not reap wholly the corners of your field when you reap, nor shall you gather any gleaning from your harvest. You shall leave them for the poor and the stranger, I, the Lord your God. Then the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the children of Israel, saying, In the seventh month, on the first of the month, you shall have a Sabbath rest, a memorial, a blowing of trumpets, a holy convocation. You shall do no customary work on it, and you shall offer an offering made by fire to the Lord. And the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Also, on the tenth of this seventh month shall be the day of atonement. It shall be a holy convocation for you. You shall afflict your souls and offer an offering made by fire to the Lord. And you shall do no work on the same day, for it is the day of atonement, to make atonement for you before the Lord God. 
For any person who is not afflicted on that same day shall be cut off from his people. And any person who does any work on that same day, that person I will destroy from among his people. You shall do no manner of work, a statute forever throughout your generations and all your dwellings. It shall be to you a Sabbath of rest, and you shall afflict your souls. On the ninth of the month at evening, from evening to evening, you shall celebrate the Sabbath. <clears throat> Then the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the children of Israel, saying, The fifteenth day of the seventh month, the Feast of Tabernacles, for seven days to the Lord. On the first day, a holy convocation. You shall do no customary work. For seven days you shall offer an offering made by fire to the Lord. The eighth day you shall have a holy convocation, and you shall offer an offering made by fire to the Lord. It is a sacred assembly, you shall do no customary work. These are the feasts of the Lord, which you shall proclaim, holy convocations, to offer an offering made by fire to the Lord, a burnt offering and a grain offering, a sacrifice and a drink offerings, everything on its day, besides the Sabbaths of the Lord, besides your gifts, besides all your vows, besides all your free will offerings, which you also, which you give to the Lord. Also, on the fifteenth day of the seventh month, you shall have, when you have gathered the fruit of the land, you shall keep the feast to the Lord for seven days. On the first day, a Sabbath rest, and on the eighth day, a Sabbath. And you shall take for yourselves on the first day the first fruit, first of beautiful, the fruit of beautiful trees, branches of palm trees, and boughs of leafy trees boughs of leafy trees, and willows of the brook. And you shall rejoice before the Lord your God for seven days. You shall keep it as a feast to the Lord for seven days in the year, a statute forever in your generations. You shall celebrate it on the seventh month. You shall dwell in booths for seven days. All who are native Israelites shall dwell in booths that your generations may know that I made the children of Israel dwell in booths when I brought them out of the land of Egypt. I am the Lord your God. So Moses declared to the children of Israel the feasts of the Lord.